Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the recently viewed items feature, new to the Turbo 2.1 Shopify theme from Out of the Sandbox. If you're using a previous version of the Turbo theme and you'd like to take advantage of a feature that will remind your shoppers of products that they have recently viewed as they navigate through your shop, then I suggest you update to the most recent version of Turbo 2.1. Any of your favorite ways, including using the Out of the Sandbox Theme Updater app to update your theme while carrying over your past customizations. As a pro tip for setting up the recently viewed items feature, you're going to want to open a real version of your site in another tab of your browser. So here I am on my admin panel. I'm going to head into Online Store, then into Themes here. But before I go to Customize Theme, I'm going to head over to this icon to view the theme which will open it up in a separate tab. Since the recently viewed items feature depends on building up a little bit of a navigation history of items that have been viewed, it's important to have this live version available so that we can go through the site, navigate through some products to build up that history, and then take a look at the settings to configure them. So I'm going to head into Customize Theme now, and I'm going to enable the recently viewed items feature in all four of the positions that it can be displayed. So the first of those positions is here on the home page, where I'm going to go add a section and add the recently viewed product section. I'm going to add it there, and it's not appearing because I have yet to build up that product history. But just trust me, if you'd like to configure this the same way, you can go ahead and do it. Just enable them all first, then build up that product history, and then come back to the settings to configure them. So that was on the home page. I'm going to head over here to the collection page and into the collection settings. Scroll down to the bottom where I can add a content block and add the recently viewed products block to the sidebar of the collection page, the second position that this feature can appear. So before we get into those settings, we'll go ahead and save that again and head into a product where we can also enable this feature in two locations. So first we can enable it to appear below the related items feature. So there it is enabled underneath the related items yet to appear. And then we can add it to the sidebar here as a content block. Now, I wouldn't necessarily suggest using both of these features on your product page. You can choose one or the other, but I'm going to show you here as an example um, how they both render. With the feature now enabled in all four positions, let's head over to the live version of the site, navigate to a collection page, and start to shuffle through some products here to build up a bit of a history of products that have been viewed. As you see, the sidebar feature is already starting to render some products here, as well as the feature lower here on the product page. We can navigate through a few more, which will all render here in this recently viewed items area. can head back in to this collection page here to see that the sidebar is also showing those recently viewed items. And then the home page here will have the recently viewed items appearing in its feature below. So now that there are products appearing in these areas, let's take a look at the settings that are associated with them. So even though the feature will not be appearing here in the settings editor, I'm going to show you sort of what settings will apply to the area here. So on the product page, in the sidebar, we've got the product limit, and we've got the ability of changing the title. Then in the section itself, we can change between the slider or the grid layout. We can change or remove the title here. We have the product limit, and we have the number of products that will appear in a row. We're going to find those exact same settings here when we go to the collection section settings and jump into the sidebar content block to see that we can change the product limit and we can change the title of that section. And finally, in the home page section, we will find those same limit, layout, and products per row settings. A uh, big difference here on the home page is that you can click and drag to reorder that section as it appears on the home page. 
And that's really all there is to it as far as setting up a feature that will remind your shoppers of products that they've recently taken an interest in as they've navigated through your site. If you had any questions or you hit any snags, head on over to the updated support center, help.outofthesandbox.com, where you can look up your question and find a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video guide. Take care.